So uh, molecular testing for patients in lung cancer uh, is a really important part of their care. Um, we have very clear, nice guidance that states we should be testing for EGFR mutations, out translocations, ROS1 and PDL1 for all patients uh, with adenocarcinoma and advanced disease. So that, that is a very clear standard of care that we have. Now, in the real world, uh, achieving that testing can be very challenging. And if we look at the data around the world that's available, we can see that many countries don't necessarily achieve that standard of care routinely. Even in the, in the US, in 2016, the average testing was about 80%, just under 80%. So what we wanted to do is a national study to look at how effective testing was uh, for molecular diagnostics in the UK for patients with advanced lung cancer. So uh, we approached that by uh, developing a novel portal within the Public Health England uh, uh, healthcare portal that allowed us to ask each individual trust in England to provide us with specific data on those patients with advanced lung cancer who are having molecular testing. And we were able to get data from 60 hospitals and in total uh, over a thousand patients uh, where we had a very good complete data set of what molecular testing uh, they had at the time. So this really was one of the largest data sets around um, for patients with lung cancer to understand what happens in the real world for molecular testing. And I think the results were uh, extremely interesting and there were some very positive things but also areas that needed to be improved. So first, the, the rates of testing across England were extremely good. So over 90% of patients uh, in England were being tested for EGFR, ALK and PDL1. So that's a really encouraging, um, positive uh, result. And it just shows the level of expertise and enthusiasm of a lot of the clinicians and multidisciplinary teams in, in the UK to help deliver that. The, prevalence of these mutations and changes was perhaps slightly lower than would be predicted. So about 10% of patients had an EGFR mutation and about 3% had an ALK translocation. But one key finding from the, from the piece of work was that the turnaround time for those tests, so the time from the biopsy to the oncologist receiving the results was just far too long. So it was an average of about 18 days uh, for the patient to receive the result from the time of biopsy. Now that's a, a long time to wait for, for, uh, for a patient in order to plan their treatment, which subsequently wouldn't happen for a week or so afterwards. So, <clears throat> and our national guidelines suggest it should be around 10 days. So clearly there's the, the, that the audit has identified that as a, 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 an area for improvement. And I think that long turnaround time has had one major impact uh, on lung cancer care, which is that we end up treating patients without the benefit of those molecular results. So there's a significant proportion of patients, about a quarter, whose health deteriorates due to their cancer mm. and we need to start treatment faster. And in those patients, we often don't have the results of molecular testing before treatment is started. So that we found in the audit that only about three quarters of patients with an EGFR mutation actually received a targeted EGFR uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Um, so overall, I think the, um, the picture for molecular testing in the UK is generally a positive one in that we are achieving high rates of testing but I do think there is uh, a considerable amount of work that needs to be done to improve that process so that the turnaround time um, is improved for our patients to get the best therapies.